Hey yo, what's good, sexy similar squad? I am back from Tennessee. I went to Tennessee and I went to Pigeon Forge specifically. <clears throat> and I had a really good time, dude. It was it was like crazy relaxing. I know it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Because like most of the time when you think of relaxing you think of like oh you're sitting down on a beach or you're uh you're just you're just basically chilling somewhere right you're just laying down chilling somewhere whether it be on the couch watching tv outside just just basking in the sun you know but the point is if you think about chilling you think about just sitting somewhere but i uh no we were we were schmoving dude we went so many places in Pigeon Forge, and uh, I gotta, I gotta say, dude, Pigeon Forge is really nice. It's a really good place. I hadn't heard of it before we started looking up places to go in Tennessee. Um, but it is very nice, and I would recommend people to go to Pigeon Forge if you live anywhere near there. Like, for us, it was only a four-hour drive, so it wasn't that bad, you know, because they live in Georgia. But, um... But still, I mean... I feel like we were doing so many things. All right, you are beating my ass. We were doing so many things. We went to a Dolly Parton uh, stampede, is what it's called. Dolly Parton stampede. And it's basically like a show. I mean, that. There's no other way to call it, really. It's basically just a show. It's kind of like Medieval Times, but like for Hicks. <laughs> but it was really fun. Um, it was actually really fun. They raced pigs and they had a horse jump through a ring of fire with, uh, with a rider on top of them. And they had like all this cool stuff going on. That was awesome. And then they... We also went to Dollywood, which is basically Disneyland, but for people that like guns. <laughs> and then I didn't, I didn't like, honestly, I didn't like Dollywood too much. We just went around and we ate all the food, which was great. I had a great time doing that. Um, and then we went on this little ride, this like five minute, 10 minute ride that takes you through the mountains at like 30 miles an hour you're sitting in this little like i don't even really know what to call it like a little one person buggy and it's connected to a track and it just takes you through the mountains it was really fun it was actually really pretty i like that part a lot <clears throat> we saw the super mario movie which was awesome i love that movie uh we also tried to watch the DD movie and it was so bad we left the theater after an hour. Uh, but I think it's only bad for Shiv and I because we don't play D&D. And we don't understand anything about it. I think... Um, oh, that's an ult. I think if you... If you <clears throat> grew up playing Super Mario Brothers, you'll understand almost everything in that movie. Which makes it very, very easy, very accessible. And then... On the flip side, for the Dungeons and Dragons movie, you have to have played it before. If you grew up with D&D, &D, then absolutely. I mean, you'll love the movie, but... I just didn't understand anything they were saying, really. Because <laughs> I don't know. I don't know any of it. <clears throat> but like I said, I think if you grew up with it, it'll, it'll be fine. Patience. Oh, that's not good. I am going to be deceased. I'm just gonna pop my wing shard to run away. Oh, that's not good. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Nice. I need to rest. That was terrifying. Alright. I lived. Don't know if I should have. I also kind of feel like he's coming over here. He's not. Thank goodness. <clears throat> Dude, what a terrifying. 
What a terrifying thing, Hercules. Very well. They're so scary. Uh, let's see. What else did we do? We went to Dollywood. We saw the Dolly Parton Stampede show, which is really good. We saw Super Mario. We went on the trip or on the ride. We tried to see Dungeons and Dragons, but it sucked. Um, oh, we went to Parrot Mountain. Parrot Mountain, it's in this little tucked away corner. Like, you'll never find it on accident. Let's put it that way. You have to know that you want to go to Parrot Mountain in order to go to Parrot Mountain. But I would highly recommend it. I would highly recommend it. Look, I know you guys don't care, but I'm going to show you. Anyways. That means you let's stop. Oh. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold your horses. Hold on. I took pictures. I took pictures and I'm going to show you. Um, dude, look at this peacock. That peacock we saw. He was so pretty. I know you can't really tell because the colors are kind of bad on my camera. And then we saw this thing. I don't know. It's like a mix of a crane and a turkey. It was really tall. We saw this thing. It looked like a dinosaur. Got a big bone on his head. And we saw these parrots. Or they're macaws, but they were fighting and it made me laugh. So I took a picture of them. Um, and we saw Toucan Sam on the Fruit Loops box. We saw a couple Toucan Sams, actually. This bird looks really, really angry. So I took a picture of him. <laughs> um, let's see. What else? What else we got here? We got more toucans. Took a bunch of pictures of toucans. But either way. Either way. It was uh, pretty pog. Pretty pog time. I also got peed on twice by the by the birds. Which wasn't as fun, but it did happen. Uh, how far behind am I? Only 200 gold. That's pretty good for not paying attention and also not being able to fight him at all. Okay, Mr. Man. Yeah. Oh, wow. You do a lot of damage. I kind of just want to go Aussie here. Why is my camera so weird? Like this, this angle is like perfect for this. But then this angle is like, I'm all the way on the other side. Uh, weird. Whatever. I'll fix it later. Or I won't. Who knows? What does my one do? More bonus damage. I'll probably just end up going Kins and uh, Silver Branch. Hello, man. Jesus, dude. What a freak. What an absolute freak. He just W keyed me. My goodness. Okay, I cannot win this fight. Jesus Christ, man. Oh. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? He got a little bit too angry. He is W keying quite hard. 
is W keying really hard on me. Didn't work out this time though. Because this time I get the kill, I get the tower, and I get the red buff. Let's go. And you know what? While I'm at it, let's get this blue buff, shall we? Nice. You pop sprint. Okay. Okay. He's just mad. He's just angry. A good choice. I I just think that he's he's just angry at me, man. I don't know. All right. Oh well. I mean, I got kins. I'm happy about the kins. And also, could go dominance, I guess. I could also go defense, but like, I kind of don't want to. But I probably should. I also really want to go silver branch because I could already stack it really well with my two. Should I just see what, what's up? Oh, nope, I shouldn't. I should not see what's up. I do good damage to Bull Demon though. 1,205 autos. That's actually really good. Um, I'm scared of him. I'm actually terrified. What are you doing? What are you doing, Koof? Kafoof? There's no way you thought you won that. There's no way. I got I got kins. I'm just shredding you, man. I'm just shredding. I don't have red buff right now, so the damage is a little bit lackluster. So that's fine. Uh, let's just go silver branch. Let's just go Sylvie. But anyways, I had a really good time on vacation. I, uh, it was only four days, three days, but it was a little weekend trip is all you really need to recharge your batteries. I feel like, like, it's nice to go on long vacations. And I actually asked, uh, I asked this question to my friends who came over last night or two nights ago, but. They said, uh, <clears throat> I asked, would you rather have one big vacation a year? Like, you know, two weeks or something or multiple, like just small weekend trips. And they said small weekend trips too, which is interesting because, because I was like, yeah, it's, it's all you really need to recharge, you know, your, your body from work. You are not going to be alive. Um, it's all you really need to like get your body back in the working shape. You know, I, I did that week where I streamed 12 hours every day while doing YouTube videos. So it was like 16 hour days. Like I would wake up at 6 a.m. and I would work until like 10 p.m. Go to sleep, wake up again. Like it's all I did the whole, the whole week. And it was exhausting. It was like, uh, I mean, just streaming was 60 hours. So with YouTube, it was probably like a 75 hour work week. And I was like, dude, I, I don't know. How, I don't know how people do two full-time jobs because 80 hours a week would be nuts. Cause I was exhausted at that 75 hour week. Anyways, I love you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in. The next video if you enjoyed this video make sure to like comment and subscribe and until next time y'all peace